What is up guys, it's Tony here and today we are doing a very, very advanced tutorial for Final Cut Pro. We're showing you how to motion track in Final Cut Pro. Uh, unfortunately, there is no motion tracking in Final Cut Pro, but don't worry, I have the solution. So we got some cinematic here. Uh, this is, uh, I think, a COD 4 Strike cinematic uh, where this guy jumps up in the air, does a little spin, having a good time, of course. And I want to have text following him from when he jumps to about there, let's say. Okay. So let's cut that out. Bring it to here. I want to have this text follow him the whole way. And we also want to slow it down a little bit. So let's see if we can slow this down without it lagging out or something or breaking. It's kind of choppy slow motion. I didn't optimize this clip. I should probably let me optimize the clip real quick. So uh, basically, um, the big question about motion tracking on Final Cut is that you can't you can't motion track on Final Cut. It's literally impossible. So the way you have to for motion track on Final Cut is you have to use keyframes, and um, keyframing is very 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 long and tedious process, and um, but in the end, it gives you the best result possible. And some people, they just don't want to go to After Effects to do some motion tracking. So, you know, you have to do it in Final Cut. And honestly, you know, you get used to it. It's not that bad. Um, and sometimes you really need to do it. So it's important. So let's go ahead and see if we can grab this clip now. I hope I have a good cinematic here because the problem I'm seeing right now is it's a little choppy. And I want to have some slow motion going on. So because I don't want it to be like happen really quick and um, look kind of cheesy. Okay, that's that's good enough. That's good enough. So let's cut it to here. Right about where he jumps. So we're just going to give you the gist of it. So you grab some text. Custom text. Why not? And you go ahead hit the blade tool and cut the text at the end there. And then delete it hopefully. Okay. And you're going to grab the text and you're going to type in whatever you want. I'll type in motion tracking. And uh, let's bring that to the next level. And make it like a black font. Maybe change the font. Maybe go with uh, something a little bit better looking. <laughs> I mean, Helvetica is alright, but, you know, it's always good to have a lot of fonts. Uh, and I do recommend you guys try to find some fonts if you could on thefont.com. And uh, when I do receive receive re re release my uh, my old uh, editing pack, I will probably include a lot of fonts. So let's go ahead, make this black, and have it right next to the guy. Now let's go here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit transform. I'm going to bring it right next to him. And I know this may not look really professional. Obviously, you should put some more time into it and try to make it the best you can. This is just a tutorial. I'm not trying to show you the best way possible to do this. Now, what you're going to need to do with text, text is kind of different. You're going to make it a new compound clip. And the reason why you do this is because you need to make sure that you're able to transform it. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit, you're going to go into your inspector, and on the transform, you're going to hit plus. And it's going to change, you know, where it is as it moves around. If you want to change the scale, you can also keyframe the scale. You can also keyframe the rotation. You can make it, make it rotate around and stuff like that. But uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to be doing motion tracking. So we're just going to have motion mainly. And then right here, we're going to start moving, you can see. So we're going to add another keyframe, and we're not going to move it much. We're probably just going to move it just a tad, a little bit, a little bit over. And now he's going to start moving. So you can see he's moving there. And uh, we'll add another keyframe. We'll just move it a little bit up as he moves a bit. And now he's jumping. Now he's at full force like a lion. Now this text is kind of weird the way it's set up. But we can put it up there. Make him move a little bit more. By the way, I'm switching frames by uh, hitting the right arrow on my keyboard. If you're wondering. You can just keep moving it forward. 
and you can kind of get a gist of what I'm doing here as it you know goes on I'm adding keyframes and then I'm moving the text next to him and the text is gonna move frame by frame by frame and it's gonna look like it's motion tracked that's pretty much what motion tracking is it just tracks it to a set of points and then it moves throughout the thing uh, I don't know why it's not letting me choose. Here we go. We'll add a little, one more point. Bring it up there. Okay, so let's see how this looks. So you can see it moves with them. <laughs> now it looks a little cheesy. Uh, and the reason why it kind of like uh, it moves around a lot is A, because he's very far away, and B, because I didn't add a lot of keyframes. I added like maybe eight or nine keyframes. The more keyframes you add, the smoother it looks, and you'll get a really, really smooth motion. If you want some examples of my Final Cut Pro motion tracking, you can see it on uh, Fatality. Uh, you'll see that I motion track a lock-on or like a type of symbol to the uh, to the sniper, and you can also see that in, uh, I believe, in Skrillex. I think I use it on the second clip. I motion track it to the sniper, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can see it looks really smooth there. Probably because I put more keyframes there. And it kind of just follows him as he moves. And it's probably the best way to do motion tracking in Final Cut Pro. Uh, if you have any questions about it or you want me to see go or want to see me go more in depth on it, I'll be doing another tutorial explaining how to do it with lock-ons. And now when you do it with lock-ons, it looks a lot more professional because the sniper's closer to the screen. So go ahead and check that one out. But this is pretty much how you do it with text. And that's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.